And today to determine the value of a particular property. So I would log on to Bright MLS. This is for a residential home. We're trying to figure out what the home is worth. First step would be to pull up the address for the property. So for that, I would go to search public records, type in your address, Okay, here we go. This is the subject property that we're trying to get the value for. Um, this is your public records, which gives you details on the property. Um, here is the MLS listing for it, which gives you more details in regards to the square finit the square feet here. The subdivision your schools this is your total finished square feet the lot more details so you want to have this over here while you do your CMA and let's do a duplicate for a second tab so in order to I would copy the address and now Go to search residential sale. Under map search, I would paste the address right here. And it selected the home that we want to get the value for. Um, this is your radius. This is your rectangle or a polygon. You can draw any of this. For me, I like to do a radius from our subject. And let's go out to at least half a mile before we go out to a mile and see if we can find properties within a half a mile. Criteria. Um, I leave everything else blank. And under the status, dates or days, I use coming soon, active, active under contract, pending, and closed within 180 days. I could go back and put in a date here if I like but it automatically selects 180 days so that's fine for me i leave everything the way it is here leave this the same for ownership interest my subject property it's a single family fee simple so i would like to select that um, single family here fee simple as you can see down here we have nine matches click on result now I click on the distance here to have this in ascending and descending order. This, these properties are the closest to my subject. I can also do this for price, year built, finished square foot. And now in order to get a ve better visual, I like to display this as agent gallery. So I want to compare my finished square foot for this particular property to and the lot. Uh, since I know the condition of the property, um, I can determine, you know, what the comps may be because I've looked at it. So you want to be able to look at this as an active property, 5,000 finished square foot, a little bit less than half an acre. So it's, it's close to our subject, so I would select that. Here's 6,500 square feet finished, a little bit over half a mile, so I would select that. That's pretty close. Um, this property is is over 7,000 square feet finished um, over half an acre on the lot which is similar they're all in the same subdivision as our subject property so less than half a mile again oops okay. so select that this property is 0.47 on the lot and about 4200 square feet it's quite small so I'm not gonna select this one um, this property is similar to our subject as per the square feet and the lot. Um, and this one is, whoa, 16,000 square feet over close to two acres on the lot. With This is superior. We can't use that. 
um, this property is inferior uh, a little bit superior from our subject so I won't select that this property is um, it's over on the lot but a little bit the square feet it's a smaller smaller home but it doesn't look bad so we've selected these homes so we have five homes that we've selected as comparables for our subject now that we've selected that you want to click on CMA here you could create a contact um, and then pages I like you doing a cover page um, only the cover sheet I like selecting all the subject and adjustments uh, definitely my comparables and the map of exactly where the properties are um, the pages are selected now I go to subject and for the subject I have to put either the MLS number here or the tax ID um, I have both and I can do either or so I do MLS right here so that imported all of the information for our subject property this would be your cover if you want to change any contact information all your comparables here's a map of all all your sold and active properties any adjustments that you'd like to make this is where you would do that um, your pricing and now uh, you're finished so you you're finished with your CMA you could either save it view as P uh, view as PDF or email the CMA to your clients I always like to have this in my folder as a PDF um, it, it has diagrams graphs um, it has side-by-side -side comparisons of your comparables with your subject um, as you can see here there's 27 pages um, of your CMA this is your cover page and now your five comparables that you had this is your subject and the two comparables here the other two here and then one last one the fifth one right here it's side by side so you could compare the structure the year built um, when it was sold days on the market any seller concession closed price uh, how many garages it has all the details it also gives um, further details on the graph on how many days they were on the market your price graph um, each comparables given in more details to be more specific in regards to the property so you have an idea on exactly what the subject is and what your comparable is and here's your maps and your analysis overall so this is how you would do a CMA um, I'm sure there's other ways to do it but this has been the easiest for me and I hope this video was useful thank you for watching